Hey everyone, this is Taylor with another travel video, and this time I am in Puerto Rico, an island filled with rich history and culture. I had such an amazing time there exploring and doing excursions, I cannot wait for you guys to see. So keep watching and welcome to this video of Traveling with Taylor. One of the most popular destinations in Puerto Rico we got to visit was Casa Bacardi, the largest rum distillery in the world. And this was probably one of my favorite activities of the whole trip. So since Cameron and I are celebrating our birthdays, we got two welcome tokens. And these tokens are for getting some welcome drinks. I can't wait, we're gonna have so much fun. You ready, Sid? I'm excited. Yes, yes. let's go turn up for our birthdays. Let's get it. <laughs> We arrived early to enjoy our drinks because they aren't allowed on the tour. We ordered ourselves daiquiris that were a sweet taste of the tropics. Now it's time for the tour. We hopped on the trolley with our wonderful tour guide who was informative and fun and we learned about the rich history of the Bacardi family and brand. Right here, we got to take a shot of rum and as you can see, it was a little too strong for my mom. We pulled up to the mixology class, and as you can see, we have our setup station where we learned how to create the perfect mojito and shaken pina colada while learning about the history of these cocktails and cool bar tricks and skills. Me personally, I did not like mojitos and pina coladas, but after taking this class and making them the right way, I am now a fan of both of these drinks and they were so good, you guys. It's time to shake up the pina coladas and oh, shake her down. Mom already dropped hers, but she recovers and we keep going and oh my gosh, Cameron's down, trying to be cute with the one hand and here's a close up. And when you spill it, it's no worries. You get more supplies to remake it and shake your drink. After the class was the gift shop, which had a lot of Bacardi merchandise and some rums that are not available elsewhere. Hey guys, so we just finished our Bacardi tour and we bought a couple of things. I bought like a really cool bat ice tray and I bought a really nice Bacardi shirt and my mom bought a really cool like mixology set. Show them mom, period, yes. And the tour was so much fun. We had a great time, a great experience, learned so much, and I would totally do it all over again. So it was amazing, One, 10 out of 10. You have to do the full tour, mixology. Yeah. You have to, the $30 tour mm -mm. is not as good. Pay for the mixology class, it's it is worth, worth it. it. And you'll be lit. <laughs> A visit to Puerto Rico is not complete until we took a walk on the cobblestone streets of Old San Juan. Everywhere we walk, there's something beautiful and interesting to see. Please bring comfortable walking shoes so you can explore all the attractions there. Unfortunately, we didn't, so our feet were absolutely killing us, and we didn't stay too long, but we got to see really cool places, such as Barachina, which is the birthplace and home of the world-famous pina colada that was made in 1963. We arrived just before the restaurant closed, so my mom and I luckily got a pina colada to go so that we could give it a try. Our bartender was very nice and gave us places to go visit in Old San Juan. You're at the birthplace right now, going to try this pina colada. You ready, mom? All right, let's go. That's good. Don't play. Don't play. You, it's good, mom? It's good. You can taste that. Now that's bomb. You better come here. Don't play with them. Another stop we made was at the Parque de las Palomas, which is a park filled with hundreds of pigeons. Y'all, we were literally just walking through Old San Juan and stumbled across this place, which was cool to see, but we didn't stay there too long. If you want to feed them, you can buy a bag of bird food in the area. 
When we got hungry, we ate at this restaurant called Races and had fish tacos and mofongo. For those who've never heard of mofongo, it is a Puerto Rican dish with plantains as its main ingredient. It can be stuffed with shrimp, chicken, fish, or steak. Mofongo's roots lead to the African fufu mixed with some Spanish and Taino influences. I recommend giving it a try if you go, it's delicious. What a city, characterized by its colorful painted buildings, historic 16th century landmarks, renowned Caribbean restaurants, and bustling bars. It retains its unique historic charm. Visiting Old San Juan was a blast. For dinner, we went to El Ambique near our hotel, which is a beach bar with a laid back atmosphere. A couple of locals recommended us to visit there, so we did. We took a couple shots and again, I had fish tacos and I'm not trying to be dramatic, but these were the best fish tacos I ever had. So good that we went back there twice. Definitely check it out and get the fish tacos. You guys will not be disappointed. It was so flavorful, just, ugh, I can't wait to go back there. <laughs> I might as well show you where we stayed at. For four nights, we resided at the Royal Sonesta, which is only about a 10 to 15 minute Uber to Old San Juan. The rooms were spacious, modern, and clean. The ocean view is a must. As you can see, our room overlooks the Isla Verde Beach and the Atlantic Ocean. The entire place from the lobby, restaurant, and spa, as you can see, were beautiful, clean and well maintained. The staff at this hotel from check in and out were friendly, attentive and had the best recommendations. The pool area was gorgeous, quiet and is large with plenty of room for everyone. If you're a cat person, there's definitely some you will see around the hotel. There's a swim up bar that I was finally able to get to because we were gone throughout the day and I'd ordered a tropical cocktail and got to have the pool area to myself and enjoy my drink. We then hit the sandy beach to relax, sunbathe and listen to the waves crash. When we got hungry, we grabbed a bite to eat at Ocean Breeze and we just ate some chicken fingers with fries and a cocktail while enjoying the beach view. Our next activity was a glass bottom tour in the Condado Lagoon that is one of the best places to kayak in Puerto Rico. There was supposed to be another group with us, but they didn't show up, so it was just us three and the tour guides, so it felt like a private tour. Our tour guide taught us about the marine life, Puerto Rico's history, and plant life such as mangrove trees that stabilize the coastline, reduce erosion from storm surges, currents, waves, and tides. We also got to look at a manatee that was near us kayaking. At first, it was a little difficult to control the kayak, but after a while, it was easy paddling and we all had a really great time and we would definitely go back kayaking again. If you're in the mood for local food, I suggest you go to Lupi's in Isla Verde and get the 60 ounce margarita called the Puerto Rican. It's super huge that we had to split it between the three of us. And when I tell y'all we got drunk off this one drink, whew, we was lit. For food, I again had the mofongo with garlic shrimp and mom and I split nachos. And Cameron had seafood tacos. We really had a great time there and got to talk to the locals. If you're ever in the area, I recommend stopping by Lupi's. We went to Kawabali to have fun on a one hour ATV ride through the foothills of El Yonke National Forest. If you're not interested in ATVs, they also have a go-kart track and horse riding. Upon arrival, we were given a 10 minute introduction on how to operate the vehicle and then we got to see the spectacular scenery of Puerto Rico's east coast and roam through towering trees, tread through creeks and hills, and coast through the vast rugged rainforest terrain. During one of our 
more stops, our tour guide took this awesome panoramic picture of us that you see right here. We then got to ride around some more, and then we made another stop where we got to chill here for a good 15 to 20 minutes to eat, take bathroom breaks, and enjoy the scenery around us. We also got to try some passion fruit for the very first time, which was really nice and sweet. My family and I enjoyed ourselves to the fullest on the ATVs. It was a beautiful opportunity to see the mountains and jungle of Puerto Rico. For our last night, we went to go check out Distrito T-Mobile, that is an entertainment complex. It has a movie theater, Coca-Cola Music Hall for concerts and shows, Torre Verde Urban Park with a game arcade, multiple restaurants, and a virtual open area with LED screens, and the seats in the arena area are removable for standing or dancing events. The bright lights and music make it so much fun. There was also a local Puerto Rican band playing popular songs that everyone was singing along to. This is an amazing place to hang out at, and this is definitely a family-friendly place if you want to have a good time. Definitely check out Distrito T-Mobile. Well everyone, that is the end of my travel vlog. I'm definitely going to go back to Puerto Rico because there is still so much to see and do. If you want to see more travel videos from me, please make sure you press that like and subscribe button. I also have a video game channel I'll put in the description box below. Until next time, this is Traveling with Taylor.